the first aircraft in Russian military service to emphasize stealth. The Su-57 employs a variety of methods to reduce its radar detection. Similar to other stealth fighters such as the F-22, the aircraft aligns the planform edges to reduce its radar cross-section. The leading and trailing edges of the wings and control surfaces, as well as the serrated edges of skin panels, are carefully angled to reduce the number of directions the radar waves can be reflected. Weapons are carried internally in weapons bays within the airframe, and antennas are assessed from the surface to preserve the aircraft's stealthy shape. Radar absorbent material coatings absorb radar emissions and reduce the reflection back to the source. The infrared search and track sensor housing is turned backward when not in use and its rear is also treated with RAM to mask the significant RCCS contribution of the engine face. The walls of the inlet ducts are coated with RAM and the partial serpentine ducts obscure most of the engine's compressor face and inlet guide vanes. The remaining exposed engine face is masked by a slanted blocker grid placed in front of the HCDT at a distance of 0.7, 1.2 times. The diameter of the duct, similar in principle to the method of the Boeing FA-18A. As with other stealth fighters, the Su-57's low observability measures are chiefly effective against high frequency between 3 and 30 jeff, usually found on other aircraft. The effects of Rayleigh scattering and resonance mean that low frequency radars employed by weather radars and early warning radars are more likely to detect the Su-57 due to its size. Such radars are also large, susceptible to clutter and are less precise. The combined effect of the airframe shape and RAM on the production aircraft is estimated to have reduced the aircraft's arc seas to a value 30 times smaller than that of the Su-27. Sokoe's patent for the T-50 stealth features cites an intention to reduce the average RCs to approximately 0.1 to 1 M2, compared to the Su-27's RS of approximately 10 to 15 M2. The aircraft canopy is coated with 7090 NM, thick metal oxide layers with enhanced radar wave absorbing to minimize the radar return of the cockpit by 30 and protect the pilot from the impact of ultraviolet and thermal radiation. The Su-57's design emphasizes frontal stealth, with RFCs reducing features most apparent in the forward hemisphere. The shaping of the aft fuselage is less optimized for radar stealth compared to American stealth designs such as the F-22 and F-35, likely as a result of cost reduction as well as the Russian doctrine of operating the aircraft within the umbrella of friendly integrated air defense systems. Mix and engines enable it to achieve speeds of Mach 2 and fly supersonic without afterburners, FP crews giving a significant kinematic advantage and extends the effective range of missiles and bombs over previous generations of aircraft. Combined with a high fuel load, the fighter has a supersonic range of over 1500 km 930 mi, more than twice that of the Su-27. An extendable refueling probe is available to further increase its range.